Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all doing fine. Today we are doing a simple tutorial on how to turn your character's style into... This. I look like a little cartoon. Yes, just like that. Here are some other examples of results you can achieve with this simple method. For an example today, I will use this character, Eustace from Courage the Cowardly Dog. With the character selected, we can navigate up to the shading tab. Click it, and it will take us to the shading workspace. As you can see, by default, each material is a principled BSDF, but this contains a lot of information that we do not need for this style. We start off by typing Shift A, go to Search, and type in Emission. Click it, and it will bring in an Emission node. Now, if you hover over the color you have in your principled shader, you can type Control C to copy the color. Now move your cursor onto the emission nodes color and type Ctrl V to paste it. Now we just have to drag to connect the output of the emission to the input of the material output. So this particular material is now finished. But if your character has more than one material, you will need to navigate down to the right to the material properties. So as you can see, we have his overall selected. So that's what we've just changed. And now we can click the other materials to go through the same process again. Once you've finished all the materials with this process, your character should have this style. Just solid colors, no shadows or roughness or anything like that. So now making sure that your camera is pointed at your character, we can click render to see how we're going so far. Perfect. So the next step is the outline of our character. On the right, we can navigate to the render properties tab and scroll to the bottom to find Freestyle, and you can check that box. Now we can render again to get our final result. Sometimes I find that there can be lines appearing where they shouldn't be. When I see this, I navigate to the Layer Properties tab, and scroll down again until I see Freestyle. And underneath we can see this adjustable angle here. This will decide the minimum angle to be given an outline. If it's too low, we will get a result like this so barely any outline at all, and if it's too high, we will get this mess. So it needs some fine tuning, but for this character, I'll keep it around here. But that's it, it's as easy as that. There are obviously more elaborate ways you could go about this, but I think the results are nice enough for me. Hope you learned something today, or even just enjoyed the nice colors. If you have time, you could take a look at some of my other videos, or even join our competition Discord, the Blender Benders where we all work together to help and motivate each other along our 3D journeys. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Green Hat Animation. Okay, guys, see you next time. Bye.